Hey folks, welcome back. Someone gave me a tip that it would be best to preview what we're working on in each video, so that's what we're going to start doing from now on. So in this video, what we're going to work on is this slow motion magic shortcut menu. That way you can pick the spell you want and be able to cast it or change spells and that kind of thing, so... Oh, and we'll be tweaking our mana regen ability so that it regen's more like this. So, let's jump into it. So, first thing I want to do is in our HUD elements window, I want to create the widget that we're going to use. So, right-click user interface widget blueprint. I'm going to call it magic short shortcut just magic shortcut works. Then for now that's good. In the player BP, I'm going to find my magic selector. I'm going to box select all that and delete it. I'm going to add a new player boolean called ma oh, magic shortcut menu question mark just to find out if they are in the menu. That up. Branch. And get that, drag it out. Remember, you can B left click to get one of those. I'm going to delete the comment box for now. And then, if they are not in the magic shortcut menu, then we want to create widget. Put that to the false, and we want that to be the magic shortcut. The owning player will be get player controller. And just leave it defaulted to zero so it gets the first player. We will promote that to a variable called shortcut HUD. And I'll drop that under my HUD menus. And I will add to viewport off of my player controller drag out set input mode game and UI put that up to the end in widget to focus be our shortcut HUD I'm going to add some reroute nodes just because you already know I'm going to off the player set show mouse cursor and I want to set that to true reroute nodes again and I'm going to back this all up because I need a little bit more room and I'm going to set the magic shortcut menu to true so that when we go back through it it knows that it's already done. Back off the branch a little bit. I want to add in an is valid with the question mark so we can check to see if something is valid because uh, just like with the other HUDs we don't want to keep creating it over and over and over again so if it is not valid then create the shortcut and is valid we'll just add it straight to the viewport. And now if they are in the magic shortcut menu, then I'm going to drag out our shortcut how to get it and do remove from parent. And off of our get player controller, we will set input mode to game only. reroute node so that we can do off of our player controller again. Set show mouse cursor. Set that to false. And set our magic shortcut menu also back to false.
one more thing we want to do, since we want it to be a slow motion, we want it to set global time dilation. This will affect everything in the scene. And time dilation is just making it slow down. We want to set that to, I think it's at point 0.1 in the other one. And we want to copy that, paste it to the end of our menu screen appearance, set it back to 1 so that it's 100% back to full speed. And now in our magic shortcut HUD, I'm going to open that up. Canvas panel, right click, wrap with scale box, wrap with size box, width override and height override. 19, 20 by 10, 80. Compile. I'm going to add a blur effect just because it looks cool. For the anchor, it's going to be full page. I want to set all of the offsets to zero so that it goes to every corner. Compile. I'm going to set my blur strength to 1. Yeah. Then I'm going to drag out an image. There it is. No, I want to add it to the canvas panel, not the background. But background blur. I want to drag it down, get it in position where we about where we want it. And think right there was about good. Then I want to drag out three buttons. And this, I want to set its Z order to 1 and the button Z order to 2. This is basically like if you stack them up. This would be on the very bottom since it's 0, and then this would be next because it's 1, and then this on top since it's 2. So everything will be stacked on top of each other. And then, like if we had this at negative one you well, you can't really tell because it's just white but it would be blurry and we don't want that so we want to drag our buttons into place kind of say size it up the way we want I say oh, no, no, that's wrong. Okay. I'm gonna size it I'm gonna say 175 by 75 drag a text out and attach it to the button. This one's going to be Fireball for me. Italic font size of 35. 30. 30 looks decent. Now I want to select the button, hit, set the style. For the normal, we want it to be an image. Gives it a more buttony kind of look. To me at least. Then on hovered, also draw as image, and we want to set the tint of it to 0.5. That way it's a little bit mm, 0.25. That way it's a little bit darker. That way you can tell I'm hovering over that one easier. And then for the pressed, we just want to set it to image, and we can leave it white. So we'll do that. I'm going to duplicate, drag it down in place. Change the text to ice spike. The font's almost a little bit too big, but now it should automatically have all of our uh, normal hovered and pressed things set up. But just double check it. Okay, that one works. Duplicate one more time. Drag it down in place. I'll we'll call this feel. You can put them in whatever order you like, but that's just the way I'm going to do it for now. For the background of it, I'm going to drag the buttons down, select it, set its color and opacity. I'm going to set it black and its opacity, which is this alpha channel at the bottom, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0.75, and yeah, 0.5 is good. You can make it a little lighter if you like. I'll just set mine to black. Drag out one more image. 
and attach it to my canvas panel. Set it to be also a one. Oh, that one might actually have to be two. That's, yeah, one works. Two just goes on. Bring that thing in. Size it out a little bit. I'm gonna make this one blue. It's because Final Fantasy VII is really what inspired this little. The remake <laughs> inspired this little addition to the series. It's because I really like the way they did the slow motion shortcut menus. This down like that. Try to line it up, keep them lined up as best as possible. If they get offline, you can adjust how close they snap together or just disable snapping altogether. But for precision stuff, keeping everything in line with each other, it's good to keep the grid at least somewhat active. So see this one's going to default to zero so it automatically goes behind it but we will pet it out, set it to Z order to three and set its text to be magic. I'm going to set its justification to center and also italic and also 30. That looks decent. Okay. Now we want to compile that real quick. Let's spread these buttons back out just a little bit. It's really just all about customization, whatever works for you, wherever you want them. That'll be fine. So I'm going to go to my button, scroll all the way down to the on clicked event. That'll take us to the event graph. If it doesn't, you can swap back which forth between the designer and the graph right here. Delete that and that and off of event construct we want to cast to player BP. Get character off the object and as the player BP promote to a variable called player ref. And off of the unclicked for the what was that? That's the fireball one. Okay, so we want to drag out our player ref and set set magic mode to let's check real quick magic casting off of zero is the fireball so set it to zero for that one that's pretty much it we'll go ahead and box select control C to duplicate that so that we'll go back to our designer and go to ice spike Scroll down at the details panel to on clicked. Just copy, or we'll just paste that out with the control V and set it to 1. And one more time for the heel. Scroll all the way down, on clicked, control V, magic mode to 2. And that should be bueno. Oh, let's uh, our mana regen real quick. Let's see. Triggerable delay. Let's see if we set a branch towards where it's going to call itself again and just find out if we've cast magic, which we want to right as we're casting magic. So I'll box select all this and drag it down a little bit. And I'll create another boolean calling casting. And I'll drag that out and set it to true. I'll copy paste between all three of them. We can box select again and just drag that back a little bit better in place and then at the end of that we want to drag out casting one more time set it to false right before it calls the 
mana region. And in our mana region ability, we're going to hook that casting to our mana region ability. We also want to have a little bit of a delay before it calls it. So set delay. I'm going to just set it to three seconds for now. You can promote that to a variable and update it later on if you want to have one of your skills make it to where you regenerate mana faster. But for now, I'm just going to do it that way. So I'm going to check. Yep. Set it to heal. That changed to heal. I can cast my heal and my mana doesn't regenerate immediately. So let's let's try making sure it works appropriately. I'm going to cast it a few times. So yeah, now our mana doesn't immediately fill back up. And we can have this fancy little magic shortcut menu. So I guess that's it for this one, so thanks for dropping by.